أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Brothers and sisters, السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, so here we are, brothers and sisters, confronting another situation of great proportions, uh, a life-threatening situation, the coronavirus COVID-19 situation. Health experts globally and locally have warned us about the disaster and the dangers of this, uh, uh, this ec- epidemic this uh, pandemic and they have advised us to take our precautions of course for us as Muslims this is totally in line with the Quran wherein Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in surah 4 ayah 71 Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu khudhu hidrakum O you who have believed take your precautions take your precautions and for us as Muslims the precautions are not only things that uh, we um, we do as far as uh, taking our physical precautions, but at the same time it involves other issues which Allah and His Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam had ad- ad- advised us to do, such that we can avert any of these disasters uh, before they happen and when they happen and even after they happen. Brothers and sisters, Our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam advised us and uh, he told us that, you know, if we do good things, that it repels bad things from happening to us. Uh, one time he said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that sana'i'u al-ma'roof taqi masari'a al-su wal-afat wal-halakat that uh, the, when you do good things, uh, in general to people or for people uh, it repels misfortunes from happening in your lives it, ha- it repels epidemics from coming in your lives and any disasters or ruin in your life and of course one of the greatest uh, things to do in terms of good things is to give sadaqah uh, as uh, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said inna sadaqah tutfi'u ghadab al-rabb uh, that uh, surely uh, when you give in the way of Allah, it uh, extinguishes the anger of your Rabb, your Lord, your Rabb. And وَتَدْفَعُوا مِيتَ su, And it also repels a bad end, a bad death. Brothers and sisters, um, there is an incident that happened some time ago wherein there's a young lady she saw a dream and in the dream she saw that one of her male relatives was stung by a snake and um, uh, the poison affected him so badly that he almost immediately died so in the morning she went to her male relative and told him about this dream and the male relative, uh, after he heard the dream, became very worried that uh, he could die at any time. And, uh, and almost uh, certainly that the snake is going to sting him and he's going to die. And so he's very worried. So he decided that, well, what I'll do later on today, I'll go and I'll um, slaughter two uh, lambs and I'll give them a sadaqah in the way of Allah and Allah will protect me and so that afternoon he went and he slaughtered two lambs and he brought them back cooked them and uh, invited everybody in his neighborhood to come and to enjoy the, the the two lambs and as everybody came he began you know giving them the dinner and and uh, had everybody eat and he had so much meat left over that he also gave them little packets of meat to take home with them all for free all you know as sadaqah 
But he himself was so nervous and afraid and just very worried that he is going to get stung and, and today might be his final day. He's very worried about dying. So finally, some of the relatives, they said, look, you haven't eaten anything. Why don't you, why don't you eat something? And so after a lot of back and forth, uh, they, they finally convinced him that uh, to eat something. And so he grabbed this leg of lamb and he was about to eat it when he remembered that subhanallah there is a elderly lady down the street and I know she won't be able to come to this gathering. So he said, oh subhanallah, how, how could you, how could you forget her? And so he immediately got up, he took the leg of lamb and he went down the street to give her the, the leg of lamb. He knocked on the door and the lady was, the elderly lady was very surprised and she was so happy, so happy because she hadn't had food the entire day. And she made dua for him and he left. And so she ate that leg of lamb and what she did was she, um, the remaining bone, uh, she threw it out in the street, in the alley. Well, that night there was a snake that was looking for food and the snake um, came upon this bone, the bone, you know, from the leg of lamb. And so it began to gnaw away at the, you know, the remainder, the remnants of the meat that was left on the bone and, and the fat and so on. And eventually it began to swallow the bone. Well, the bone had a jagged edge to it and it was like a little, uh, little hook. And as it swallowed the, the bone, that jagged edge became stuck in its mouth and it, it moved its head up and down trying to take it out but it wouldn't come out and gradually as it was trying to take out the the bone it kept on moving and moving and eventually it ended up right at the doorstep of the person who had given the leg of lamb to the elderly lady well, in the morning when he got up after praying Fajr and so on, he heard a loud commotion outside his door. He went outside and he saw all the kids, they were all gathered around something. He went uh, close to that gathering and he saw that there was a dead snake. And, and to his surprise, he saw that there was a bone that was sticking out of its mouth. And he recognized that this was the same leg of lamb that he had given to the elderly lady. And he just stood there with tears in his eyes and he said, Alhamdulillah, 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 Allah saved me from that snake. Brothers and sisters, there is a snake, like a very microscopic snake that has entered our lives, the coronavirus. You need an electron microscope to see it if it is blown up by 250,000 times. SubhanAllah, it just snuck up upon us and so many of us are so afraid, afraid of dying, afraid of getting sick and afraid of this virus infecting us. But SubhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us to take our precautions and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us clearly that look, if you do good things, you help out other people, you give a sadaqah, that that repels any misfortune or any epidemic or any plague or any disaster from happening in your life. Brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, in tansurullah yansurkum. If you support the cause of Allah, if you help support the cause of Allah, Allah will support you, Allah will help you personally. And of course, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he said that in the sadaqa tutfi'u ghadab al-rab wa tadfa'u mitat as-su. Surely, sadaqa extinguishes the anger of the rab, and it repels any bad end, any bad death. Sana'ir al-ma'roof taqi masari as-su wal afat wal halakat. He said sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That when you do good things, you help out other people, you give sadaqah, you do other things, good things, that it protects you 
from any misfortune, more misfortune happening in your life, or any epidemic, or protects you from any, any plague or epidemic or sickness or illness, and it protects you also from total disaster, total ruin, total loss of in anything. So, brothers and sisters, support the Muslim Islamic causes in your community, whether it's a school, the masjid, social service, relief, whatever it is, support that. All these are projects that have helped our community tremendously. And in these hard times, we really need your help. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect all of us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of us from anything happening to any one of us and keep us strong to serve Him and to devote our lives to Him. Brothers and sisters, Jazakumullah khairan for listening. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.